Hi, welcome to Cooking with Carrie. I'm your host, Billy. Have you guys, have you, have you ever lost someone that you care a lot about and their absence just wreaks havoc on your emotional being and leaves a huge vacant hole in your soul? You know, some people, they, they try and fill that hole with drugs and alcohol, but like eventually it just it, it wears off. So I hear. So, um, we're gonna try filling that hole with brownies. Even if you haven't lost someone recently, brownies taste really, really good. And I'm sure you've had a really long day changing the world for the better. And you deserve a reward. Brownies. Now I know what you're thinking. Brownies, <laughs> they're, they're the most notoriously difficult thing you ever could cook. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll just burn down this gosh darn house from even trying and I'll collect the insurance money and everything will be fine and my mom can make the brownies for me. No! Stop thinking like that. Let's shift our perspective, okay? Today we get, we get the opportunity to make brownies. If we ask our higher power for guidance and clarity, we should come out of this endeavor successful and victorious. Okay, if you need to pause this video to pray and meditate, go! Okay, I encourage that kind of thing. I'll be here when you're ready. Oh hey, welcome back. You ready? You ready to do this? Step one. We're gonna have to open this box. Congratulations, you opened the box. You know what you deserve? Brownies. So let's get to it. Now this box has a list of demands. Water, oil, eggs. Okay, box. Okay, we'll play your little game. First, the oil. Now for these brownies, I'm gonna use coconut oil. So, step one, get the coconut oil. That was easy. So now, water and eggs. Let's harvest. One day, he was here, and the next he was gone. And the other day I saw this kid, and he was on his bike, and he just, the kid looked so happy and proud. And I, I was driving down the street, and I stopped at my stop sign to turn onto my street, and the kid saw me too, and he, he stopped. But he, like, waited for me and panicked or something. I don't know, but he just sat there, and then he just fell over. And I think he really hurt himself. It was so funny. <laughs> and I wanted to share with Arthur. But it can't... They can't share anything with Arthur again. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry, I thought we were making a cooking show. Okay. Eggs. Now all we need is one quarter cup of water. <clears throat> Perfect. Great. So now that we've met all of this box's demands, we can begin combining everything. Eggs. Oh, I love a fresh smelling egg. Now this doesn't have to be perfectly smooth and incorporated. If our higher power wanted us to be perfect and do perfect things, he'd all make us Bette Midler. But we are not Bette Midler. We are Billy, and I am you. Great, so now we have to grease this pan so that the brownies don't stick. A nice healthy glob should do. This looks globby. Now we pour it into the pan. Great. The transfiguration is about to begin. But first, 
why don't we spice these brownies up a little bit? We could add nuts to make them nutty, marshmallow fluff to make them fluffy, or other stuff to make them stuffy. Today, I'm gonna add peanut butter. Ooh la la. Now, into the oven. we're going to bake this at 325 for 50 minutes. That's how long it takes for the metamorphosis to complete. The next time I open this oven door, that brownie batter will be dead. And from its cremated ashes will arise a zombie phoenix. Zombie phoenix brownies. See you soon. Oh boy, oh boy, these brownies sure do look good. And hot, be careful kids. Don't touch these with your bare fingers. So these have cooled completely and are now safe for consumption. Now when you feed these to your hamster, a little pro tip, cut them into little pieces and pop them in the freezer. That way they're a lot less messy and they last longer. Moment of truth. They're okay. I mean, they're good. They're, they'll do the job. Anything to fill the hole. <sighs> this one's for you, Arthur. To Arthur Furrington. You were the best, man. Cheers, buddy.